joining us on the phone, two of our favorite buddies, uh, Justin and Jeff from Frustrated Rock Stars. Uh, Justin. <laughs> How you guys doing? Hey, buddy. Doing Jeff, you there? Yeah, man. How you guys doing? Good, man. Long time no speak. Uh, we always love having you on here. Uh, your website, give it out for everybody. Uh, it's the frustratedrockstars.com, or you know you can YouTube us, Google us, and watch our shows. It's all easy to find. Now, we want to talk tonight about album covers. Yeah. The greatest album covers of all time. And yeah. I'm I'm going to throw it over to Levy first to kick it off. Bob, go ahead. The Who, Who's Next. The Who, Who's Next. Now, what do you remember about that album cover? When they're pissing on the wall. Right. I think that's they're fucking... They're kind of standing randomly on, in the field and then against the wall. Yeah. Uh, what well, about... that is kind of the ultimate rock picture because the most photo shoots now it's like a band and every, every member is kind of facing it a different way that all started with that good call bob thank you sir look at that uh al uh, blind faith the blind, blind faith album yeah the blind faith that was a real controversial album cover they had a 13 year old girl holding a very phallic looking airplane on the front a stain like a stainless steel rocket in her hand i would have guessed bob, uh, that mark would have picked that one. no he likes nirvana <laughs> never mind actually <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to go with Tommy Dorsey. Or, uh... <laughs> well, the Palladium album was a classic. It's a, uh, Al uh, Jolson, the hits. Peaches and Herb. Uh, I think it's all got to start with Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably the most well-known and most copied. Abbey Road is just a great, iconic yeah. uh, uh, album. And uh, Meet the Beatles, with the, that's the one with the four just faces, faces yeah. on it. I mean, they're all great. Or even Rubber Soul, when they yeah. like, goofed with the photograph a little bit. And, mm -hmm. And, of course, Abbey Road had the great, you know, is Paul dead or not, you know, controversy, which, of course, stimulated sales and had everybody, you know, guessing and talking about it. So whenever you can have an album cover that can generate some press for you, I mean, over and beyond the artist and the music, you know you've done your homework. You know right. you've done your work. But, but it doesn't overshadow the music. You know, you, you, still, you, know, you talk about Abbey Road, you talk about the music and the album cover. It's not like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey, so I got somewhere the album cover is controversial, but no one gives a shit about the music. I got one. Uh, almost every Iron Maiden album. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, with Eddie, Eddie on the Eddie. cover. You, you can't pick one that is not cool. I mean, every single one. I, I, I mean, jeez, Power Slave. Uh, I mean, I, I Killers, I Killers, Killers Number of the Beast, Number of the Beast, uh, Live in Long Beach. I remember that <laughs> album. I, I love that fucking album. Well, you know, that was a great movement. Uh, you know, ACDC with, you know, Highway to Hell and Shout at the Devil by Motley Crue at the Pentagram. Yes. Uh, you know, it let people know, hey, you're buying a metal record. <laughs> that, uh, exactly. Although going down that route, that was um, Dio's uh, first record, Holy Diver. Holy mm -hmm. Diver, I remember that. Had, um, I don't know, this, like an Eddie-like uh, yeah. symbol that Dio used to use and he was swinging a priest off of a chain and the priest was still <laughs> chained up and drowning in the ocean and it was Holy Diver. I, mm -hmm. I re remember, uh, I mean, they weren't really very metal now that you look back, but their album cover scared the shit out of you was Quiet Riot. <laughs> All right, right. right. Metal Health with metal that health. with that guy in that gay straight jacket, but then he had that mask that was right. like, that, that was fucking scary yeah. back right. then. And then they used it in the videos too, so they tied it in with the whole freaking concept of the whole band how about a great album cover lousy record huh i like that i like I mean, that some a little of the, false advertising yeah. if you will yes i like that uh let's every get... album released since 2000 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much good point man good point uh, ever since the flannel came out that ruined music for uh, me. The, the flannel, flannel shirt the grunge, oh, movie. The grunge, grunge yes yeah. grunge killed it, it, it that was the end of it. Uh, yeah, as much as I, I don't really care for Nirvana, you know, you got to never mind is a good album cover. Yes, but I don't really care for the album. There's, a lot, of kiss, there's a lot of Kiss albums like that too. That have really cool album covers, and you know, Kiss albums are you know one out of three are good. You know? <laughs> the first three were a real fiasco. What right. about uh, Physical Graffiti by Zeppelin? That was a cool one. Yeah, we were going to bring that one up. It, it's a yeah. shame because, go ahead, Jeff, tell me, you know the story better now. Well, that's what, that's what we did. Back then, you know, the artists had to pay for the packaging. Well, Zeppelin was so big, they made Atlantic Records pay for the packaging of the records, so they got to kind of experiment. So they had to cut out. They did it in Zeppelin 3 where it was like, you know, the you know there's like two pieces of cardboard that cut out, and and uh, Physical Graffiti had that. It had the windows with yes. pictures, and it was like, like a multi-layered, you know, album cover for the vinyl, which doesn't translate to CD. But back then, that was a big deal because they didn't. No one did that back then. Nobody. Yeah. Right. Curtis in Virginia Beach. What's up, fellas? What's hey, up, man. Brother? I, got, I got two plastic covers: Rolling Stones, Sticky Fingers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. And 
the original Smell the Glove. Not the not the bullshit blacked out cover. Right. The original Spinal Tap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was a great cover. Well, the Sticky Fingers one had the zipper on it. Again, packaging that you know cost a fortune. And it was Andy Warhol, if I believe. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Uh, that, that, that was a classic, yeah, for sure. Steve in Seattle, you're on with Frustrated Rock Stars on Miserable Men. What's up? Hey, how's it going tonight, fellas? Good, yeah, buddy. Okay, I got a couple. Of, uh, one as a kid growing up in the uh, 70s that we all looked for and, and had, like, the first was the Ohio Players. They had an album called Honey. Which yeah. Was a, a, na a naked woman with honey running down her body. Nice. And, uh, you know, in the 70s, any naked woman you could get and on the album cover or otherwise was, uh, you know, something cool. And then uh, Appetite for Destruction. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a classic. You know, that album cover had a rape scene with a robot yeah, raping a woman, world. and it was so controversial that they went with, like, like, a Bill went... Hicks, like, cartoon or whatever. That was on the inside of the mm -hmm. uh, album. Mm -hmm. That yeah, was the insert. They wanted to make that the cover. Right. But the, uh, of course, you know, the la label wouldn't let them have that where a woman sitting there with their legs played out. Todd in Massachusetts, you're on with the Frustrated Rock Stars. Tool Anima. I don't know if you remember that, CD. That had, was like a holographic front. Well, mm -hmm. one of the things about Tool is uh, the guy, I forget, his name escapes you, but he's like a graphic designer that works on, like, Lucas Films and stuff. So Maynard. You know, Maynard. Yeah, he's a he's like a major graphic designer that works on movies and like monster films and Rodney in Ontario, you're on with frustrated rock stars. We got a couple minutes left. Shuey, how you doing, brother? Good man. Uh, best album cover, the one Bob used to cut his coke on in the eighties. What's that now? The one I used to cut my coke on in the eighties. <laughs> you know what? I still use that one. <laughs> the, the, the cell phone busted that joke up, but that was a good one. Yeah, yeah, but the funny thing is, is now, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can still do lines off the CDs, you know? It, right. it just, you have to be more careful that you don't spill the big pile. Because you, you could put the big pile on a big album, and you had all that room mm -hmm. to make the lines across it. Now you got to be a little more careful. The, the, al the albums you were better for the. You can't do it on an, on an iPod. No. <laughs> the albums were better for the pot smokers. You get that double album, like Kiss Alive or something, oh, yeah. you could put your pot on one side and get all the seeds out of it when I was a young kid. Mm -hmm. so the, the, problem, the problem with some uh, uh, album covers, if you're doing blows, like The Wall, you, you don't know where the blow is. You know, you don't, you don't see anything. <laughs> yeah. Like, you, know, you dump yeah. out half your shit. That's when the bl black album comes in handy. That's right. That's when the talent. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Never do when... coke on the white album. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And what, what's the odds of some, some guy doing coke, throwing out half his shit, more likely to end up snorting cardboard? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, finally, Joe. Joe, you there, buddy? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hello. I'm not sure the name of the album, but there's a Leonard Skinner album where the band is in a ring of fire, and it was right after the plane crash. Three survivors. Three survivors. Yeah, that's that's fun. That was kind of trippy, huh? Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's weird. And then after the plane crash, they re-released it where it has like a black background where they took the flame out. They took the fire out. They took it out. Wow! They, so they is, took it out after the after the, they, when they re-released it, it. It like doesn't have the original art. It's how much was the uh, is the other one a collector's item? Not like yeah, a lot of I would, money. I would say if that you had it in perfect condition, like still wrapped. I don't know. Like but if, on eBay and find out. Like if it was in mint condition, uh, the opposite I'll be of Bob. With you. I got Thriller. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about the how about the Beatles uh, uh, original uh, yesterday and today album with the uh, the butcher cover? Oh yeah, yeah, that's worth a lot of money. Yeah, yeah that. There's only a few. I think maybe a few hundred that were even made. Right. So if you got any of those left, yeah, name your price. Listen, uh, I want to thank Jeff and Justin from FrustratedRockstars.com. You guys are a home run every time. We love having you on. Yeah. And, uh, guys, go to their site. Uh, check it out. Support them. Uh, guys, thanks again for joining us, man. All right, guys. Later, yeah, boys. Yeah.